Dear drama lovers, welcome to the sensational world of Profits Are Up show. Get ready to dive into the drama, the intrigue, and the suspense as we unveil the secrets to skyrocketing profits in your business. In this captivating online course, we'll take you on a journey filled with twists and turns, where every decision could mean the difference between success and failure. From heart-pounding strategies to unexpected plot twists, you won't want to miss a single episode of this thrilling adventure. Stay tuned, where we'll reveal the first secrets to unlocking your business's true profit potential. Peace, peace, peace. Yo. What up, Tech? Peace, peace. Can you hear me okay? Yes, 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 sir. We're live, man. We good. Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing hit, man. Your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best you heard. I'm accompanied here by... The one and only Tekamaku, Mr. Automation, Mr. IUL, Mr. Insurance, get your money up, Velocity Banking himself. Holla at your boy. Yeah, man. <laughs> I am, uh, bro, I love this topic today, man. This is going to be a great topic because the end result for most people is to get more clients and we're going to show them how smart businesses go about doing this. And, you know, you can do it today, like right, 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 right now. And so, yeah, yeah, I love this. This is going to be a great, great topic, man. I, I'm going in on this one. I can't yeah, wait. bro. Yeah, I, I'm telling people to clip up. Yeah. They got clip up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they going to have to clip up on this one. Appropriately it's, so. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit, man. And, and you know what? It's, you know, we can share with people how they can uh, increase their profit margin by, you know, the simple upsells that we we always teach already, right? But what we're going to do today is we're going to cover some ground that has not been covered before, how to get your uh, dollars to work for you and bring in consistent cash flow. So uh, I have four slides and I have a biggie bonus. So we're definitely going to go into that. Uh, Tech, you want you want to say anything to the family before we get started? Yeah, for real, man. I love the. Um, yeah, this is one of those topics that is going to be a little bit out of the ordinary <laughs> in terms of what you probably used to hearing. Uh, you know, we don't talk about necessarily, uh, you know, how to speak Spanish to a, <laughs> a client who's trying to figure out a power of attorney. Like, that's not what we're talking about, nor are we talking about how to direct a client through a purchase agreement or that's like technical stuff. This is very, very, very specific stuff we're talking about, which is how to get clients, man. And there's so many resources that we have available. but Coming to these live events to me is like no other, especially if you are in the comment section, you can ask questions. This is a sales yeah. training. This is what we do. So I just hope y'all are ready to strap in, man, because I'm going in on this one. I love this topic. I love it so much. Yeah, it's so shout helpful. out to everybody on YouTube, Instagram, and everything too, man. Shout out to you guys, man, for joining us every Wednesday live, right? You know, uh, taking the time out your day. You're probably at work. Some I know we get some truck drivers that are, you know, looking to build their own business and they're tapping in. So I appreciate all you guys, every single last one of you guys. I, I appreciate you guys. Real talk. All right. So let's go into slide number one. And again, this is how to boost your profits, but this is a, a bit unique. You guys. It's a bit unique the way we're going to be approaching this. So number one. Make that money work, man. Risk reversal. 
for those that don't know what risk reversal is, risk reversal is a business strategy aimed at reducing or shifting the risk associated with a purchase from customer to the seller. It typically involves offering guarantees. You probably get guys seen uh, people offer 30 day money back guarantees, maybe a warranty, return policies, or other assurances to customers to alleviate their concerns about making a purchase. What say you, brother? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. The thing about uh, what we do specifically with notaries is very unique because there's there's people who don't know what a notary is. Mm -hmm. Surprise. <laughs> they seriously, they've never dealt with legal documents before. This is their very first time ever having to interact with a notary. They just, they know what it is, but they don't know because they've never done it. So there's all types of questions going through their heads, right? They're asking themselves, oh, I just know that I have to get this lease agreement signed for my grandmother. And they don't, they want me to, the landlord wants me to get it notarized. So but what is that? They, they don't know what that is. So there's all types of thoughts and uh, unknowns going through the head. These are your clients. These are a lot of the people that you deal with on a daily basis. So when they call you or they contact you, they don't know what to expect. It's all risk on their hands. It's all like th they they don't know if this is supposed to be like because they hear the word legal, right? What do you think about when you hear the word legal? Oh my god, I'm gonna go to jail, right? You think that I, yeah. I'm, I'm in trouble. Like, this is serious. That's what a lot of people who've never dealt with notaries, this is how they approach this. And even people who have dealt with notaries, they're not quite sure what it is. So it's up to you to explain to them what the, how to do this. And um, But it's all risk on the hand. They're thinking, mm -hmm. they're like, oh my God, am I, is it supposed to be $2 or it's supposed to be $200? Is that normal? Um, is this something that I can just like get done like in five minutes? Is it Or is this something where somebody needs to come to me? Is this... Do I need to get a referral? Is this like going to a, a visit in a doctor? Um, do I have to make an appointment? Like they don't know what, what this process is. So you have to help to educate the person and inform them because yeah, customers are smart these days, but they don't know. <laughs> Trust me, like they, they want to go out and, and make the best decision and do it right. They want to do that, they, especially if it's something that's serious, like a power of attorney. Right. So when you educate this person and you're telling the person, hey, um, you know, this is what we do. We do two things. I like this is what I like. I say we do two things. You have to first prove to me that you are who you say you are. Right. You, you do have an ID. You can't I can't identify you. And then I, I need to witness you sign this document. Those are the two things I need to do. Can you do that? So I, I'm simplifying it for them. So I'm taking with all the risks. So that way, when I tell them it's three, yes, yeah, three fifty nine. Mm -hmm. They're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, it's for us to execute the doc, right? For me to go out right this very moment to the nursing home where your loved one is half dead, <laughs> right? <laughs> because this is something that you didn't take care of when it, you were supposed to take care of it a long time ago, or because your grandmother's getting ready to get kicked out of her house because you didn't sign the agreement and now they can't do it because they're physically unable to do it or for some reason, right? But you are coming to me at the last minute with your problems. The sheriff is knocking at your door. You have yeah. 10 business, part business partners and they're all flying in at the same time. And we need to meet at the at the Holiday Inn so we can sign this document, this LLC agreement between two countries. Like they, these are their problems. And now they're coming to you to solve these problems. But again, they don't quite sure know what this is. So we have to break this down for them as simply as possible. Yeah. I can help you. I can. This is a matter of fact. This is what we do. We specialize in coming right now and helping you solve this problem, get that important business taken care of. Can you prove to me that you already say you are? And then can I witness you sign this? And it's usually a yes. So yeah, for us to drop everything and come to you right now, it's two fifty. It's seventy five dollars. It's eighty five. It's ten dollars. It's two dollars. Right? Whatever it is, that's what. That's how we have to remove the risk from them. Help them to sort of see beyond. We know what they're getting and 
really realize it's what's coming is what this document represents that's what you're getting <laughs> that's what you're getting so you know explain to the client yeah we can do it right now we can do it for ten dollars cheaper we can do it for a discount like all these other things i can just throw that in there we can help you get that but i try to tell the person by calling me you call the right person so we can get this done first time and that's it you get it you can perceive your life it's 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 great how the way we play with that you know mm -hmm. yes um some of the ways that i would use uh risk reversal uh in the notary business was i would let them know that <clears throat> if there's any error on our part even the era of maybe a title or escrow company or um, the bank rejected a form or something, we will come back out at no extra charge. That's removing the risk of, oh my God, what if I don't get this right the first time? Do I have to pay another $250? Um, guarantees like that removes the, the, or, or pushes them off the fence because they're on the fence there. Just imagine them holding onto the fence for dear life. And the only way you can really get them off the fence is by removing as much risk as possible. So maybe offering to go out the second time or third time. Or another thing that I would do for my clients, because I, 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 I'll I be honest with you, man, like my notary clients, I gave them the utmost five-star attention that I possibly could, right? So I would even tell them, hey, look, if for some reason a cousin from Colorado pops up out of nowhere, and, and contest this power of attorney that you're about to get done, and it goes to court litigation, we'll come out and represent you. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, how many times did I have to do that in five years? Not once. No. Because everything got, you know, everything got executed successfully. But the fact that you can tell your client this you're removing the risk. You're removing the risk. So risk reversal is huge when you're trying to increase your profits because now you're eliminating the excuses for them not to go with you. And not only that, let's just say they believe that your price is too high. And they are going to call a few other notaries or businesses. You made it harder for the next business to come after you. You made it very difficult for another business to compete with that. Yeah. Why? Because they may not even mention it. But in the customer's mind, they're like, well, this, <laughs> this notary service said this you're not offering that you didn't oh wow you know what i mean like you're you're the headliner and they're the opening act so yeah. that's uh number one Let, let's go into point number two so number two is reducing purchasing friction. This is a huge one, Tech, because I see a lot of notaries and business owners create a lot of obstacles <laughs> for their customers to want to purchase their product or services or buy from them. So reduce, it, reduce purchasing friction, complexity in the buying process. If the purchasing process is complicated or involves too many steps, customers may become frustrated and abandon their purchase. What do you say, Tech? Yeah. We see this all the time, don't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How come nobody's buying my product? How come nobody's hiring me? I get 10 calls a day, I get eight calls. 
what do they say? Oh, they say I charge too much. That's not what they're saying. <laughs> That's not what they're saying. Oh, they said that they'll call me back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're never going to call you back. <laughs> oh, they said they have to talk to their grandpa. <laughs> you have to wait until their husband gets off work. They have to go to UPS store. Like People always say these things. What they're telling you is that they have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Notary is one of those things that is very, it's it's just one thing, right? It's simple. It's very straightforward. You got to reduce all the complexity out of it. Yes. Because it's, and not only is it simple and straightforward, but it's not a hundred thousand dollars. It's not $60,000. It's, it's not a lot of money, right? It's very simple, very straightforward. And you have, and when you overcomplicate it or make it complex, because it's not, right? See, this is when notary start talking too much, right? This is when notary start talking themselves out of business because they're comp complicating the whole process. And as we, we've worked with a lot of people and what we see is that notaries, especially the loan signing agents, people who are trained in that vein, have a tendency to talk a lot, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And they're walking through documents and they're over explaining and they're showing how educated they are. This is the easiest way to get yourself out of a deal, like over talking, because this is why the simple way that I like to go about it is very, it's, do you know who's going to be there? Does everyone all have, people understand why they're like, first of all, where are you? Who's all there? And can you prove to me that you already say you are? Very, very straightforward. You can do all those mm -hmm. three things. Then, yeah, we can help you, man. So, and this is how I help you. We got to come to you. We're going to exchange information yeah, i'm gonna take your thumbprint and then uh i'll fill out your, your certificate and, and stamp it that's it and i like to say that in that order right just mm -hmm. to help to help people see all right they can vision themselves all right yep we'll show up at your office we'll show up at your you know your house or whatever and um so they can visualize that yeah we're gonna exchange your id i'll witness you sign the document stamp it that's it and then to make it even more simple or less complicated, because I'm trying to speak a language that they understand. I'm not trying to go through a uh, AKA statement or Alta statement. I'm not trying to go through a universal loan application form. I'm not trying to walk you through all that stuff. Doing the opposite. So I'm saying I can identify you, fill out your certificate, stamp it, then that's it. Listen, man, you can always change your mind too. Mm-hmm. Right, so combining a little bit of that risk reversal as well. Book the appointment, takes 15 minutes. If something comes up, right, because I understand, yeah, your grandmother's in the hospital. Yeah, I know she's on life support. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I know the hospital's telling you right now you got to get this power of attorney. So I know, I know, I know. But listen, man, you called me, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I called you. Yeah, great. You're at the hospital, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. You've talked to the nursing staff, right? You know that you are trying to get an outside, non -rel related, non relative party to come inside and speak to your grandma. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Right. And she's verbal, right? She's not like half dead. So book the appointment. At the very least, you can always change your mind. You can always call us back. I'm going to take a call right here. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Do your thing. All right. Go ahead. I'm going to make sure this is like not a okay yeah so um you guys the, the the removing of the friction side of the business is very very crucial um and as an entrepreneur you get paid for solving other people's problems that's why people give you the bigger the problem the more complex the problem the more sophisticated the problem is the more money you can demand. I've uh, witnessed phone calls where, like Tech said earlier, the notary will interrogate the, the client. They will say things like, um, I only take cash, right? And this can be an elderly couple that have a hard time getting from to and from. So now you're asking an elderly couple that probably, you know, has a, a credit card, debit card, 
check possibly. Uh, go and go to the bank, extract some cash out of the ATM, drive all the way back home just to meet you, and then get the documents notarized. You see how friction, how much friction is it in that situation? One of the things that allowed me to really succeed in the notary business was that I could spot problems and then let's just say a phone call. I got a phone call from a client and the client says to me, um, I need a power of attorney, but I don't have the documents. That's a problem. There's friction there because in order for me to notarize the documents, the client must have the documents. And this goes for all businesses, by the way, but we're concentrating on the notary business. So when I got off the phone call, and this is like the first time, right? After I got off the phone call, I said, I need to find a way to make things easier for my client. So when they call and another person has this concern, like I need to get a power of attorney done, but I don't know where to go. So that's why I explored e-forms to get certain things done. Hold on, hold on, dude, hold on. So, So I explored e-forms and e-forms would allow a team member to create the documents for them exactly how the client wanted, streamline, so we streamlined the process and then we were able to dispatch a notary to notarize the documents. We've done that all over the United States. It, it became a huge problem solver. A huge problem. So even if a client said, we're about to get a divorce, we do not have a good divorce attorney. I, I just happened to call a notary to um, start the whole process. Do you guys know of an attorney that can do uh, divorces? Well, at the time I didn't, but I explored attorneys in my area that can provide that service. And guess what? When you call a law firm or an attorney, private practice, to assist with this type, you're not coming across as a needy, needy entrepreneur. You're not coming across as a beggar. You're not coming across as, hey, can I get on your list for assignments? You're actually bringing profits to them. You're bringing clients to them. It's a different vibe, y'all. It's a different vibe. So now you have law firms under your belt that you can refer, which makes your notary practice far more valuable. Let me know if that makes sense. Because I want you guys to be able to navigate through, because in, in having a business of your own, you're going to run into obstacles. It's how you navigate through these obstacles and how resilient you are. And the more that you learn these tactics that are working, this ain't something that I'm just talking about or tech is just talking about. These are practices that we actually uh, employ and deploy. Last thing your customer wants is to call a notary to solve their problem and then you give them a hard time. Ain't nobody got time for that. No. Nah. So let's go into slide number three. But before we go into slide number three, let's take a quick commercial break, y'all. Opus Clip turns your long-form videos into 
short clips in one click. Opus Clip is powered by AI and it can create 30 clips in 15 minutes and outperform any manual video editing by saving 90% of time and tons of money. Opus Clip is so hot right now, it's like trying to get tickets to a Beyonce concert. So get Opus Clip now. Don't be the person who hears about it later and goes, Dang, I should have listened to Tiger Toledo. Go ahead. Be the cool one in your squad. Try Opus Clip today for free. Just click the link in the description. So we're going to go into framework number three, streamlining. Uh, again, you know, these are things that will help you boost your profits. So streamlining, for those that do not know what streamlining is, streamlining refers to the process of making operations more efficient, removing unnecessary steps, reducing waste, and improving overall productivity. Now, I could tell you a few ways that I was able to streamline my business. Now, so the call script is one of them. When a person would call, initially, I was fumbling and bumbling. I was all over the place, y'all. I was all over the place when it came to the phone call because I was, I, I had no structure. I had no framework. It wasn't consistent. So I developed a one page uh, call script, which allowed me to streamline the conversation. So what happened when I created the call script, my 30 minute phone calls turned into three minute and five minute phone calls. And I was able to close the deal at a higher profit with a higher margin, right? So that is one of the ways that I was able to streamline the whole situation. Tech, you want to uh, take it from here? Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, streamlining? That's what we're talking mm -hmm. about? Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, streamlining is going to be able to seriously help you. Because there's people who say working in the business, working on the business. When you're working in the business, you're doing all the technical stuff. When you're working on mm -hmm. it, and you're making it much more uh, streamlined. So, oh, man, that last call I just took, I almost wish I would have played it just because it ended out it, like positively. But it was mm -hmm. going left. Oh, my God. Mm. And I almost credited it to, um, I know what my finish line is every single time. Mm -hmm. I know where I want the client to go because the whole, we talk about streamlining, right? I know that I got to professionally greet you. I have to let you, I have to establish from the jump that you're dealing with a pro. You're dealing with a professional organization here. You're not dealing with somebody who's doing this from their basement. No, 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 no. Right. Even though I might be in my kitchen, right? I might be at my office or I might even be in my car or I might even yeah. be at work. I don't know. I might be at the grocery store, but I need to send an impression. So then I greet you and then I qualify you. I make mm -hmm. sure that you are who you say you are and you got something legit. And 99% of the time it's legit, right? Mm -hmm. Once I qualify you, excuse me, I need to disqualify you. Make sure that you are not somebody who's, you know, like basically that you're not trying to get this for free, right? You're right. You understand you're dealing with somebody professional. I qualify that you are somebody I can help. You're not trying to get this done for $2. And then I need to close you. So it's streamlined. And I know what my finish line is. I know where I need to take this person. I need. I know I need to get them. I need to be able to send them the link. I need to send them home so that they can get this taken care of. And, you know, this guy, oh, man, that's too expensive. Mm -hmm. That's out of my budget. All right. Most people will say, yeah, it's, expect people to say that it's too expensive, it's out of your budget. Yeah, because they didn't know what a notary was. I say, hey, man, what kind of document do you have? Because, by the way, I never asked you that. But, uh, what kind of document? Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't even know what a kind of document I have. <laughs> How many times have you had, like, this is why I don't ask that question first. I don't say, hey, what kind of document do you have? Well, first of all, sometimes people will just tell you. 
Mm-hmm. Don't have to ask. But I don't ask that question unless they bring it up. Because you ask them and they're like, they don't even know. So three minutes goes by and they're trying to figure out what the, what the name of the document is. But if they ever say, hey, man, that's too much money. I didn't expect it to be that much. That's out of my budget. They tell you all these different. What kind of document do you have? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just told you it was $117, but you don't even know what it is. So let me go further. I know I need to get your finish line, streamline. So this person is saying, I don't even, so how could it be too expensive if you don't even know what it is? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm giving somebody some, the ability to uh, make a decision because I need, I got a storage unit and um, it's in a different state. So I need to get, well, what do you have? What kind of document is it? Uh, I, I don't know. Right. You know what it is, but you don't say it because you're not giving out advice, right? <laughs> Sir, you're giving somebody the ability to make a decision on your behalf that's in another state? Yeah, yeah, okay. Just out of curiosity, how much do you think it's worth? Uh, less than $100? Okay. So we're talking about property. We're talking about decision-making. We're talking about uh, travel. We're talking about business. We're talk- Some people don't think that's high enough. Some people yeah. will look at highways if you charge something that cheap. Is the property that you have in the store unit worth less than $100? Um, no. I said, okay. Is it worth more than $100? He said, yeah, okay. <laughs> so the document that's going to represent that value or giving someone, some unknown person, the ability to make a financial decision on your behalf in another state for a property that's worth more than a hundred dollars, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not worth. Okay, sir. Do you want to do it? I need it done right now. I'll just go to UPS store. I need it done in the next twenty minutes. So not only is it so expensive, and not only are you giving somebody the ability to make power and decision in another state for something that's way more expensive, and you need it done right, 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 right now, right? Drop everything, and you don't want to drop a hundred dollars for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, so we'll that, do it in two hours. And since you're flexible with your time, you can save thirty dollars. All right, so you get the client just like that. Okay, all right. So if it's about the price, or is it about you being able to get this, this whole streamlined process, you know, from the greeting to the disqualification to the qualification to the close, and then you got all these objections that comes. Most people would just go straight through the whole thing, but. Once I have the ability to send them to the finish line, send them the link, I just, I, it's hands off. It's hands off now. Mm-hmm. It's up to them. And most people, let's see if we booked the point yet. Not, not yet. All right. But what, what are some of the, um, because we, we didn't touch on this, what are some other ways that you streamline? Do you use any uh, software? I know I use software. I know you use software. But what are some other ways that you have streamlined? your uh your business oh yeah man good question so which talks about how much you invest into your business into yourself mm-hmm. and uh moving away so so if something costs a hundred dollars a month you know is that too much some pop some people probably think yeah i don't have a hundred dollars a month in my available funds to go and invest in that however if you looked at it a little bit differently right says well this hundred dollars a month will be able to answer the phone for me so that I don't mm-hmm. have to answer the phone. And you might have to juggle with yourself whether or not that's worth it or not. Well, is $50 worth it for you not to ever have to answer the phone ever again? Or if you ever have to answer the phone, somebody could, you know that that person is a hot lead. So I invest uh, anywhere from $50 to a hundred dollars a month just to be able to, so that I don't have to answer the phone, A, and B, if I do have to answer it, then I know that that person's been already been kind of like vetted. That person is a hot lead. This person isn't just like calling just a call. Yeah. So that's, uh, and then there's other things like email, there's scheduling, there's uh, follow up, like there's all this type of systems that uh, lead generation, uh, thumbtack, I mean, uh, email, I think I already said that. Uh, 
<laughs> uh, payment processing. Yeah, I mean it's all there. So um, yeah, the, the the that type of streamlining is important because uh, you're scheduling, right? You know, using a, a company like a Calendly or TidyCal to do your scheduling and process payments that removes a lot of friction and it makes the buying process so much easier for the customer. Man. So you shouldn't be afraid to experiment or try uh, different softwares, especially with AI nowadays, uh, to streamline your business. Otherwise, you'll you'll look like the company that that has file cabinets everywhere, and and you're just pulling files all the time when you can, you know, have digital files and you know get have great copies and digital scanners and stuff like that. Like you could right now, you could literally scan a document on your phone, and then crumble up the paper and throw it away if you wanted to. Because the technology is allowing for that now. Um, I remember when I was using, I forgot the name of that company where uh, it was working with Google to answer my phones. Calljoy. Calljoy, right? And I configured it to the point where it, it walked the customer through a journey to get their documents notarized without me being on the phone. And I know tech, you have something like that as well, but those things are important when you're, especially when you start getting, having value in your business. When you start getting the 10, 15, 20, 50 phone calls a day, you're gonna look for ways to streamline your business. I promise you. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. That's real, man. It's like, you can't get to that. It's impossible to scale without it. To me, it's impossible to grow without streamlining these whole processes, using automation, using technology, using software. And we're not talking about, you know, well, I don't know, maybe so. But I was talking about, like, making emails and stuff to send out to potential title companies and stuff. It's like, no, no, we're not talking about that. We're talking about being able to absorb volume. So mm -hmm. you don't have to do it <laughs> because yeah. if you are doing everything, like you got your notary name on the company, like this is Rob's notary. And then, hi, you're calling uh, Rob's notary. Rob speaking. <laughs> like, is Rob? Okay, Rob, are you going to come out and do my uh, 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 passport application? Yep, I will come out. Actually, I can't come out right now because I've got another assignment at two o'clock. So maybe I can do it at two forty-five when I'm leaving. My other the person's like, "No, I need it right now." Uh, no, thank you. And they click. It's because Rob is doing everything. You know, Rob's mm -hmm. having phones. Rob is filling out the scheduling. Rob is sending the payments, collecting the payment. Rob is doing the actual notarization himself. Rob is emailing you with the follow. -up. Listen, man, I know. <laughs> I know we as, want as you to say you take the handcuffs. <laughs> the handcuffs. Got it. <laughs> take off the handcuffs, bro. You're handcuffed to this. And you don't have to be because that's really where people get burned out. Because they're like, oh man, I I, I gotta be more organized. I, I gotta be a little bit more. No, you don't. Yeah. You need to stop doing everything. <laughs> it's not whether or not it's not can I do three appointments in a day? If I have to drive 30 minutes to get to this location and then I have to print and I have to scan and then I have to go to this location at mm -hmm. you know 10 30. Don't do it. Confirm the appointment, secure it, and again get somebody else to do it because now you've implemented some of this technology and you yeah. streamlined the process and you can remove yourself from the business. So now you can work as a CEO or as Tiger likes to say, the visionary. And then, <laughs> And I just love, I love, love, love. I'm obsessed with this stuff, man. It, it's so much fun because you get to create, you get to architect, if that's even a word, right? You get to uh, uh, architect or engineer this whole. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's go into number four real quick. 
And I'm glad you mentioned email marketing because uh, that is slide number four. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a this is something that, man, it's <sighs> you were first on this, people. man. You, you were number one on this, man. You were ahead of the game on this. I, I, I try to bring different flavor because at the end of the day, man, I, we could talk about documents. We could talk about notarization. But does that really make you into a well-rounded, elite, preeminent entrepreneur? No, it don't. You just be, you become well versed in documentations. You know, like, all right, this is how. No, that's not what's going to do it. So, email marketing is extremely, extremely important, and that's one of the reasons why I put down that it, you have to own your platform. Email marketing allows you to own your platform. You guys probably seen throughout the years, these platforms will switch it up on you. They will simply switch it up on you and they will uh, suppress your post so it doesn't reach as many people. I remember when Facebook came out, they were pushing, get a Facebook profile, get a Facebook profile. That way, anytime you send out a post, we will make sure everybody that liked your, you know, liked your business profile, they'll all see your post. And then one year later, they made everybody have to pay. Okay, you <laughs> want to reach more people? Pay us. Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, Google does the same thing. Instagram does the same thing. You cannot really rely on, I, I wouldn't recommend it. I would not recommend relying on these people platform TikTok, google google my business you guys see what happened with google my business they oh, just yeah. removed they just removed your uh your landing page where you was getting all of your phone calls from some people didn't have a website all they had was that bro they sent that warning out five months ago yeah yeah five months to to come up with a response to that you have to be very careful when you're playing in somebody else's playground because they'll pick it up and pack it up and leave. So email marketing is our number four on your platform. Email marketing is essential tool for small businesses to engage with their audience. It gives you, a, you can establish a deeper connection with your audience. You can drive sales and conversions and build lasting relationships that contribute to long-term success. What say you, Tech? I don't do this enough. I'm guilty of it. Now, I do this, but you know, thanks to you and the Smart Notary and the Rise of Smart Notary series, listen, this is something that I still don't think I do enough of, but I see just how important it is. I'll give you a quick story. So mm -hmm. the and then we, this kind of goes in with the whole automation thing and the streamlining. So all this stuff is together, man. All this stuff is just how you become an elite performer, man. So shout out to you, Tiger. I mean, I'm just so happy about this. <laughs> I really am. I seriously am. Because you got the automation. You collect their phone numbers because they signed up. And then they use an email address. So that's how you communicate with them. You have all this information. So as a business owner. Now, I'm going to give you an example of how I don't think I do this enough, but also um, I know this is this is how valuable this is how I know this is how valuable it is because I actually talked to a roofing company where I did some permits for them right I notarized some signatures and I just straight up because you hammer this so much and it, it just hit me at the spot you're like man pitch pitch it to them so I told the guy hey by the way we also have an email list that we send out would you love to be featured inside of our email campaign. He's a roofing company, right? He goes, yeah, <laughs> I would love that. I say, yeah. great, man. We'll send out a little, uh, like, little photo feature of you, and uh, you know, uh, you know, you don't have to do anything else. We'll just kind of write it up and then put your phone number on there, and then kind of indicate that you you are, you know, because we're notaries, we're in people's homes, and you're a roofing company. You know that, you know, we uh, work with you. And it'll be kind of like an endorsement, right? That's what I was thinking. He's like, yeah, I would love to do that. 
So mm-hmm. now when you send out emails to these customers, now you have um, some value to bring to them. Yeah. Not in addition to the message that you're communicating, but there, this is not just a one-way thing. It's a two-way thing. You're giving them something, and then they're getting something out of it as well. And then also you've got this prior customer. So it's a three-way win. The clients are getting help. You're getting help. And then this business is also getting help because um, uh, you're featuring their business inside of your newsletter. And you're also flexing that muscle, that that marketing muscle. See, that yes. to me is real marketing right there. Dropping off business cards to title companies and sending out flyers and sending out stuff to nursing homes and business cards, dumping that stuff on people and begging it, donuts and all that stuff. That never worked, right? (laughs) Like, let's be honest. Let's keep it real, man. People are bowing out because that never worked. What worked, and it will always, what seemed, the direction it seems to be going is the email marketing. And that has, to me, has always worked. And I'm, I do it, but I'm guilty of not doing it enough. Yeah, statistically, um, Generation, well, millennials and Generation Z are estimated to check their emails more than any other uh, group since email has been invented. So you have to think of the landscape that we live in today, where a lot of money is being deposited into your account digitally. Right, there's like like you're 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 receiving a Stripe uh, notification on your in email. A lot of people are receiving uh, discounts, flash sales, money through email. So these new generations are checking their email more frequently than any other generation. So it, the fact that you may not uh, have started in your email marketing, I suggest that you start now. I would suggest that, and let me give you a framework on what you need to be doing, because many people are on social media, they frequent social media. Um, you need to start pulling your audience off of social media. You may be saying, well, I don't have anybody on my email list. You have people on your social media sites that rock with you already. They already rock with you on Facebook. They already rock with you on TikTok. They already rock with you on Instagram. They already rock with you on YouTube. Start pulling these people off of these platforms and bring them into your email list. And what's great about these email marketing situations is that there's autoresponders. So you can create a a nice follow-up where you are constantly in contact with your clients and your customers and your fans. This is huge because now you can build a deeper connection with them. You can help them more than you ever can. And you don't care if Facebook or Instagram suppresses your content. Speak on that, Tech. Yeah, because they're going to change up the rules eventually. <laughs> what you said was so true, man. It's, yeah, pull people off the platform and put them onto your own soil. I had a mentor of mine, uh, uh, slash coach, slash business coach, you know, slash teacher, <laughs> all these things. He just said, man, you have to build your own kingdom on your own soil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's that whole sandbox uh, idea that, yeah. It, Facebook will change it. Google will change it. We just saw recently how they switched up the whole uh, self-generated sites. Yeah. And, um, you know, companies go out of business. So if a a social media company, TikTok, whatever, Instagram decides to go out, at least you have the context. And um, uh, I think people like that, too. I think I think um, owning your platform is is beneficial for, for the customer or the person you're engaging with and for you. So there's, you like you said, build a deeper connection with the person. You can talk about, um, uh, you can go uh, more deeper and elaborate on more subjects rather than just some 30 second clip while somebody's scrolling on Instagram. So it's way, way more effective, way better. Yeah, I mm-hmm. love it. 
only your platform is big, man. I really think that is so so big because you make the rules, <laughs> and you don't have to be subject to somebody else's uh, terms and conditions, right? Absolutely. And uh, now we're going to go into the book of the week, and then we have a biggie bonus for you guys. But before we do that, let's take a quick commercial break. Do you want to be a better notary? Imagine a place where you're not just getting by in the mobile notary job, but really doing great. This can be your life for real. But how, you wonder? The secret is in getting help from experts, a really important thing to do well in this busy job. Imagine this. Special tips and plans made just for you to reach your goals group of really smart people who know what you're about to do, ready to give you everything you need to do great as a mobile notary. This isn't just make-believe, it's what really happens for those who grab the chance to learn from experts. Good things don't just end with getting your own special tips and plans. You also get to grow faster. The mobile notary world is like a super fast game with new things popping up and old ones vanishing like magic. You don't want to miss out, do you? So if you call us today, you're like skipping ahead in the game, making sure you're always winning over others. But wait, there's a thing. These cool chat times aren't forever. Places are getting taken fast. And if you wait too long, you might not get one. This isn't just a simple talk. It's your chance to save your place in the mobile notary world and open up lots of fun chances. So, what are you waiting for? Just like how the clock keeps ticking, success doesn't stop for anyone either. Don't let this extra special chance slip away. Take your dreams to new heights and book your discovery call before it's too late. Remember, you have the magic key to do amazing things in the mobile notary world. All you need to do is use it. Love it. Love it. So book of the week, you guys. Rise of the smart notary. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> If you guys <laughs> don't have this, man, I don't know what to tell you, man. Hey, look, it's the number one best-selling book for notaries. Uh, it still holds true today. It will. Um, look, I, I, I ain't even got to talk about it, man. I ain't even go. I ain't even got to toot, toot my own horn on that one. Uh, we've rolled out a three-part series. We even in, I believe, part three of the trilogy tech also has a chapter in there uh very proud of this series it's done extremely well it's helped hundreds and hundreds of notaries already if you don't have the book you can get it on amazon uh it's available on audible if you're working out you can listen to it i would recommend getting the audible and the physical copy because on the physical copy there are some uh charts and stuff that you can see plus you get a whole bunch of bonuses so that's all i have to say about it. the book of the week is rise of the smart notary get that on amazon or barnes and noble today game so number, oh yeah go ahead bro no game, game changer bro game changer game changer man i love that book i remember reading it like in three days i'm like all right it's <laughs> elevates elevate 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 it was a great book it's, it's a classic. I call it the rich dad, poor dad of the notary industry because I was noticing that a lot of entrepreneurs and I was listening to a lot of podcasts and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. uh, people would always say, they would always make references to rich dad, poor dad because it was like, like the contents of it is not groundbreaking revolutionary, but it's very concrete foundational entrepreneurial strategies and, and, uh, and mindsets and things like that. That's why everybody you know has read that book. That's Rise of the Smart Notary, <laughs> right? To me, it's so foundational. It's the ideas that you build upon that come after that, where the success comes from. But you start there, man. So I love that. Yeah. Big up, big up. So hey, let's go into number five. Number five. So number five is a uh, very niche tech. Very cutting edge. Um, got my man Biggie on here with the crown. Brooklyn stand up. It's investing in AI, brother. We only we we've been in, we've been in the AI era for a while, but this open AI, this ChatGPT, the Sora, and all of that stuff, 
is brand spanking you for a lot of people. It's only been around for, I, I want to say 18 months, but it really has been around, you know, like really made its dominance known in the last year, the last 12 months. And a lot of headway has 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 happened since the 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 release of open AI chat GPT to where we are today. There's been a lot of advancement. I put a post up on Instagram not too long ago. Um, I think the company called Klarna, the one that does uh, buy now, pay later, they have replaced. Now, now get this tech. They fired 700 employees in order to put AI to run their business of what seven, 700 employees was doing. Oh my God. Like, like their AI capability now has, a, you know how much of a payroll that, <laughs> you know, when companies are trying to uh, lighten the load, as they say, cut the fat, uh, increase some, some, their cash, they start firing people. This company fired 700 people just to put AI in their place. And they're saying AI is running far more efficient than the 700 people. Holy cow. No vacation pay. Uh, no sick days, no maternity leave, running 24 hours, seven days a week. So that's why this is a biggie bonus. Start investing in AI. AI has the potential to transform small businesses by enabling them to automate processes, make data-driven decisions, personalize customer experiences, and innovate in ways that were previously not possible. Speak on it, Tech. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, let me teach you guys something real quick, okay? Um, I'm going to make this real personal for us. Artificial intelligence is already, it's already here, right? Like you just uh, demonstrated or shared. So there's people who are going to be caught off guard. You just... Not going to see it coming, mm -hmm. and it's going to blindside a lot, a lot of people. I'm always, <laughs> um, I'm always grateful to be able to be in a position to be able to work, right? And when people are not able to work, it's all because you know, I've been fired before. I know what that feels like. And then I, I said, "This ain't never happening again," <laughs> right? So yeah, and it, it, I don't understand a job is a job. You leave, you leave. Circumstances change. Whatever, whatever stuff happens. People typically people get fired for things that are not personal. Like you said, AI did it. <laughs> All right, AI replaced them. But I'm going to teach you guys something because we're talking to notaries. You can do this right now. Like you can implement this stuff right now. And uh, what we were um, talking about for the last hour or so has all to do with um, this bonus right here. So investing in streamlining your process, removing some of these mm -hmm. uh, road bumps and stuff that your customers are trying to pay you, right? Helping them understand what it is that you do, simplifying, 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 making it straightforward. You do two things, right? Sign and then we identify you. Doing all these things. But when you start to duplicate yourself, you start to um, uh, replicate yourself and you start to inject you know, what you do with email marketing or with scheduling or with uh, phone automation. And, uh, you know, that's how you start implementing some of this technology and AI. We're not talking about having um, ChatGPT, you know, write out some emails for you, which is cool. It's all good. Mm -hmm. But what about you actually duplicating yourself? What about mm -hmm. you being able to answer the phone and then be able to book appointments and then be able to process payment and be able to assign appointments you know, infinitely, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, see, now we're talking, right? Now we're starting to use some of these technologies that we currently have, you know, at our disposal and what you would do. So um, 
I'm going to make this very, 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 very practical. So I actually have a system that says no to your automation. Like, because I, I was aware of AI and we talked about this stuff. I kind of saw this stuff coming. I knew it was coming. It was just a matter of time. And any industry can be affected, right? I'm talking about doctors. I'm talking about lawyers, notaries, right? So anybody can be affected. So I set out to answer that problem for the for for myself. I wanted to be able to be in multiple places at one time, and I thought the easiest way to do that is for me to be able to answer, you know, build appointments, process payments, respond, do all those things. And so, how do I slowly start to implement those things? Well, number one. I got to be able to get clients, number one. And then, mm -hmm. number two, I got to be able to effectively communicate to them that, you know, I I have exactly what it is that you're looking for. And number three, I could do it when you want me to do it. Or I could do it when you have that break in between your schedule, you know. So me attracting a client and then me demonstrating to them that this is who they found or I found what you – you found the right person. I'm a notary. You know, I'm in the city, in this particular state of town, state, city, whatever. And then you want it at six o'clock or you want it at two thirty? <laughs> like which one? And then you pick it. So now, maybe now you can be able to position yourself in multiple, multiple places all at once, and not have not have to worry about you know, First Fidelity or whatever title company is, you know, sending me scans and I have to get it back to them. I have to pull over at a gas station and sign their documents and whatever, you know, you can all, and then you talk about the, the whole business opportunity of getting paid in advance. All these different things are all, is the reason why AI has to be used in your business. And it, to me, I don't, I can't see myself working without it. I really can't. It can only enhance the way my operation runs, man. So what do you think? What what, what say you? Yeah, so uh, a <laughs> you know, uh, there, there's a lot of these conspiracy theorist people out here, man. I'm talking about people that are just, they're like some X-Files shit, right? AI is the boogeyman. AI is the boogeyman. And they're like, it's doing this, it's doing... Listen, we are evolving creatures. Like, we we learn and we get better and we do things. It's the people that choose to negate AI. It's the people that choose not to see the transformation that's happening in the world. It's the people that said, you know what? I'd rather... Uh, go from New York to California in a horse and buggy when there's a goddamn 747 jet flying right over them. These are the people that choose to be stuck in time. That don't want to learn something new. That old saying, like old dogs uh, don't learn new tricks or whatever, that, that's bullshit, dude. Yeah. Like that. Listen, AI has passed the bar exam. <laughs> <laughs> like th this thing is gathering information and intelligence from around the world. The problem is, is that people are becoming very overwhelmed with AI. And it's because a lack of direction. And I can understand that. Yeah. So the more content, which uh, Tech and I will be doing, a, I, I, I want to call it AI cash flow soldiers. We're going to be doing a very, very special three-day masterclass. Uh, details will be coming soon on how notaries can utilize AI to bring in cash flow. AI is not your executive assistant. It is your soldier. You give AI orders. Go put this hit. Take out this ambassador. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you must give AI orders. Otherwise, AI will just stay dormant and do nothing. 
The prompt, a prompt is an order. <laughs> so we're going to teach you how to create, clone yourself and create soldiers, AI soldiers to hit these technological streets, media streets, email streets, and bring you money. Because otherwise than that, you're going to be one of these conspira conspiracy theorists. Just <laughs> <talking gibberish. laughs> so I, I think it's highly important. And I brought AI to the notary industry last year uh, with a masterclass, one of the best masterclasses I've done, uh, most profitable masterclass that I have done. Uh, and now we're one year later, we're about to release the second edition AI cash flow soldiers. Uh, if you guys remember, March of the Wooden Soldiers is going to be the AI cash flow soldiers, and we're going to show you how we're using AI in our business every single day to bring in cash flow so our phones can ding, 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 saying deposit has been made. Deposit has been made. Deposit has been made. So I think it's highly important to learn and take part of this, this new evolution of civilization that we're, we're going through right now. There's no denying it. I mean, like, you, you guys see what Tyler Perry did. He shut down an $800 million project because he saw a couple of things that OpenAI Sora was able to do. You know how much money this guy is going to save? He won't have to purchase certain type of equipment. He won't have to purchase, uh, per, you know, pay personnel. He won't have to pay for sick leave and all. It is a game changer, y'all. It's a game changer. And me and Tech talk about it all the time. The, the gap is widening from the people that know how to use AI and the people that don't. There's going to be a time where people will be like, AI is too far along. I'll just hire someone to do it for my company or teach my staff how to do it. And there's it's going to be extremely lucrative, extremely lucrative. So that's my piece on that tech. Any final yeah. words, brother? No, excellent, man. I'm so excited for this class because using AI to write 10 emails to send to a title company and then you loading it up onto your email and then sending it to them hoping that they respond is one thing, but it's another thing to actually inject your voice into a call script so that when your phone rings, that it tells the customer in your mm -hmm. voice, hey, thanks for calling ABC Notary. You've contacted our power of attorney department. If you're calling for power of attorney, press one, All right? Like that's that's different. And then the customer booked the appointment and then you get a deposit and then you get a notification and it says that you can go and see the client at 10 o'clock on Friday, but you then hire somebody else to go do it. You never left the house. It's a whole nother thing that we talk about, man. Different game, y'all. It's completely and, and tech and I've been using AI for years. So imagine the type of knowledge we're sitting on now. Imagine yeah, what I mean, we can bestow onto you now is going to be freaking monumental and mind blowing. Facts. Yeah. I love so I, look this. out for that. I know. Go ahead, bro. No, I'm just saying we're, we're finally seeing it. And this is just something that it's, it's been there. And I think the customers want that as well. I think your customers seek this. Like mm -hmm. you were saying. You know, you don't want to be the person who's like kind of looking like a dinosaur. I think mm -hmm. your customers, they see it all around them. You know, they, this is how they behave. And then for them to see it in your business, or put it this way, for them not to see it in your business, would then, would that bring doubt or question or any reservation for them to proceed with working with you? Yeah. I mean, when people say, oh, my, say my price is too high. Well, maybe it probably is because. You sound cheap. So why are you charging me $150? <laughs> why are you charging me $75? Why are you charging me $20? It sounds questionable. But when you got all of this automated technology inserted into your processes and it's professional and it's clean, 
now you look like a million bucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm so when you post somebody for a million dollars, they won't look at you weird. Yeah. It, it, it's going to be phenomenal, you guys. We're going to arm you with all the weapons you need. <laughs> all of them. And you will be able to do some remark. Listen, I've been waiting on AI for like the last two decades. And and I'll 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 explain it more into the three day masterclass that we do. But I've been waiting for this for two decades, and it's finally here because I never had the capability of actually doing the things that I wanted to do. I wanted to clone myself for decades because I know my skills that I possess. And I said, you ever said to yourself, if there was one more of me. I'd be dangerous. Well, guess what? You now live in the era where you can duplicate not just one more of you, but a thousand more of you. Holy shit. Wow. Holy shit. And, and for those that believe that don't believe like uh, AI has been in front of their face all the time, here's another word that they used to use for AI that you heard a lot. Algorithm. Algorithm is AI. When you would go to Amazon to purchase anything, a book, a fidget spinner, whatever, it gives you a recommendation like people that bought this fidget spinner also bought this. Who do you think? Do you think that's Jeff Bezos saying, oh, they bought a fidget spinner. Let me, let me make some recommendations. <laughs> When, you, when you're watching a YouTube video and it suggests another video to you, that's AI doing that. That's not Sarif, whatever his name is. AI has been moving you around for the longest. Now it's time to move AI around to benefit you. So I highly, highly suggest you guys do that. By the way, if you guys have not booked a one-on-one -on -one discovery call with me in tech for some private mentoring, now mind you, this one is a lower tier. We, the tech and I have a, a 30K program, but we want to make you money because we understand like if we show you how to make money immediately right now, we'll build you up to the point where you say, you know what? I want to get the 30K program. I want to see what the 30K mentorship really does for us. So we want to start you at the ground level. That's why we recommend that you go to drtech.com. Get the Thumbtack for Notaries book. Get the Rise of the Smart Notary book for $30. Start off small. You don't have to go, you know, go from here to there. <laughs> start off where you're at. And then build your way up. Yes. We'll be here for you. I'm done, brother. Yeah, great point. Great point. Yeah, start where you are. What else can you do? Like people say, you can't manage $800,000. Well, if you can't manage $800, right, just start where you are. You know, and then go from there. And you will go, but you have to demonstrate. Like this is a, a signal to yourself. You have to prove this to yourself first. You have to do, we always have to. I don't know how you talk to yourself. I don't know what you say to yourself inside your head. Hopefully you're not saying crazy stuff to yourself, but yeah. really you have to uh, prove or this symbolic proof to yourself. I can't manage $800 million. No, I can barely manage $8,000. Right? Start where you are. Do what you can do. That's how you start. Take baby steps, take steps, and then work your way up. You'll get there. You have our, we have your back while you are where you are. You can always benefit from interacting with some of the uh, suggestions that are learned here. Share it, and uh, yeah, man, you 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 you're gonna go. You're gonna get to where you're going. Like I trust and believe that. Trust me. As long as yeah. you are here and you're involved in this, you're going in the right direction. I have no doubt in my mind. Seriously. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, tune in next Wednesday, same bat time, same bat station. Uh, we're just going to do what we do. You heard? Monster Kill. Kill.